Hello Christians, this is Kamala here, and this is part of my testimony. Um, this picture of myself, my daughter, my sister, and my youngest daughter um, was taken almost 13 years ago. And it, this video really is going out to not only them, but anyone who hasn't received baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism, water baptism, and I am urging anyone to please do that. Time is running out. Jesus will be returning for his bride soon. This video is not to say that I'm better or lesser than anyone. It just is what it is. And I didn't know it now. I knew that that <clears throat> crown on the top of my head was something from God. I've been on a walk with God since I was three. I'm almost 60, and it's a walk that goes on every day, every month, every year, and how a mind has gotten stronger is by reading his word, constantly staying in word, and um, he says, pray ceaselessly, and I like pictured a CD player in my brain, uh, clicking the play button, that was almost 20 years ago, and it's still playing because I didn't know how to constantly be in prayer and live everyday life, so I did it that way, and I know God understands. Anyway, back to this. I'm urging everyone that time is running out. Jesus will be coming for his bride soon, and the tribulation will begin, and you don't want to be left behind. So please receive your water baptism. Um, in the spirit, really, please, I ask that you ask Jesus to move you and open door that door for you. And I see now that God put this on me and for more than one reason, I'm sure, but he was wanting me to spiritually lead my family members that haven't received this baptism to be baptized. And I also see now that he was fitting me for a crown so please, uh, followers of Christ, if you're new and still haven't received your baptism, I urge you to do that now. May peace, love, and mercy be multiplied unto you. I ask the Lord to take me to Scripture because I want to close this with Scripture. And I don't really like the scripture that he took me to, but here it is. It's in uh, Micah 7. I'll start at 5. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. In the day that the walls are to be built, in that day the decree be far removed. God says, feed his people with his word, and I'm trying to feed my family, and it's so odd that he took me to this about the man's enemies or of his own house, and here I am wanting my family to receive Jesus. The peace of God to you.